Hey guys, welcome back to another Unity devlog. Today is part one of the making of my new game, Traffic Travelers. It's a Subway Surfer style endless runner with some extra features thrown in. Who knows, if this devlog series goes well, I might even port it over to Android. Of course, that would take a lot longer than I'm currently planning, so let me know. Like all my other games, I start with a base game with no textures or complex models to get the core mechanics down. In this case, that included the player x-axis movement, the ground moving towards the player, crouching, and jumping. All of that was pretty standard stuff, but for the crouching, I used something I don't think I've seen many people do before. I turned on an animator controller bool to shrink the player's box collider. I also made the player turn red for some developer feedback, but I removed that later. An important thing that I had to remember was to turn on most of the rigid body constraints, pretty much all of them except for position X and position Y, or else my character would flip around and it would be out of control. Pretty basic stuff, but it's pretty easy to forget. Also important to turn off transition time between animations to keep that responsive feel I was going for. For the obstacles and ground moving towards the player, which I called the environment, I just made them translate forward on the Z axis every update frame. For the obstacles, I just made the player's controller stop doing anything if the player collided with any object it tagged enemy. The next day I immediately tried making a player model, but uh, no. This model was way too bad. I'd have to try again later. Much later. I did want to at least attempt some modeling, however, so I modeled the basic obstacle and textured it with the construction-y colored color palette I found on the internet. I think it works pretty well, and at this time of the recording, I still haven't finished the game, but it is in the game and it looks great. When I imported it to Unity, I realized the Unity scale is twice as big as the Blender scale, something to keep in mind. Then I modeled the road using the same method, although I probably could have used much less verts if I actually cared about CPU usage. I might have to change it later, but I haven't yet. I tried multiple times to make a strafing system, and let me just say there was a lot of control Zing. But eventually, after multiple painstaking hours, I found a good solution that I'm still pretty proud of. Then I made a ramp, which was just a simple model with colliders with another color palette. After the ramp, I wanted players to have an elevated train obstacle section, so I made a couple variations of trains for that too. For the ducking objects, I had to do some shameless self-plugging, obviously, as well as some world building in the city of Glory's Foggy Bottom. Beautiful name for a city, I know. I also made the floor endlessly loop forever, which saved on data management. Finally, I made the walls some San Francisco inspired housing, with about 8 different color alts. So that's it for this part of the devlog. This part took place over the first three days if you were wondering. I hope you guys liked it, make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell if you want to be notified for the next one. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!